Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your July 8th through the 31st love reading. This is for August and this is for the sign of Capricorn. What do you have for Capricorn? I want to thank all my supporters out there. I've been getting a lot of... Um, bookings and a lot of subscribers, commenters, and watchers, so thank you very much for the support. This is for the sign of Capricorn, August 8th through the 31st. What do you have for Capricorn? All right, it looks like so probably there's things have been a little bit of disarray. This is around the 8th, okay? It looks like maybe there's things that are a little bit disorganized. Now, this is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. Perhaps you're beginning a new phase of your life that, you know, has caused a little bit of um, disarray. But you are beginning a new phase in your life. So, and it's good luck. I mean, it's good fortune. So, whatever you're beginning is, is um, very positive, all right? Here we have, maybe you have some regrets or uh, over something. We'll, we'll get back to this one. This is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then this right here is, um, this is the Ten of Swords. This is about something being completed. Some, some area um, where you were feeling um, despair is over. So it's, you can only go up from there. This person is probably in your life right now, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it looks like, you know, something, some kind of, maybe it could have even been an argument. It could be something petty, could be something big. But something with this person it is probably over and you can only go up from there. Alright, so here you are. This is Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, and it just confirms that you're here in this reading and, you know, that that you are starting a new phase of your life. Some For some reason, the cycle has spun and you're beginning a new wonderful phase. Could have something to do with children, could have something to do with something that transpired in the past that has caused you some regrets, okay? So, you know, something in the past that has caused you regrets um, is now over, okay? It's now over, and now you're starting to rebuild that relationship. I think that's what it is. You're starting to rebuild, and you, it, things look very, very good. You've worked hard to um, get over this, okay? You've worked hard to um, rebuild um, whatever was lost, okay? Perhaps um, you are rebuilding it with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and the worst of it is over, okay? Here we have the Four of Pentacles. This is about resistance. This is about being too frivolous with money or being too worried about things when you don't really need to be. Um, so here, uh, you know, there could be issues with this person, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, regarding time or money maybe um, I don't know there's something to do with insecurity there's something to do with insecurity financially and or it could be time maybe you know there's an issue between time and money with this person we'll get we'll get more cards
here we have the nine of swords this is you feeling very skeptical feeling very pessimistic about something something about something regarding something that happened in the past i think you're still mulling over something that happened in the past that caused you regrets and it's still it's still haunting you okay um it might have something to do with children it might have something to do with this aries leo or sagittarius but here we have um You're getting so close. You're getting so close to having this all taken care of, all right? Um, it looks like you are starting to bring back harmony and peace to your life, whereas perhaps maybe it, it was lost and you, you have regrets over that, but you're starting to bring back some harmony and peace, and it could definitely have something to do with a child, all right? Um, perhaps things were disheveled, but now things are starting to calm down and feel a lot more peaceful. Um, yeah, like I said, you've just really been sticking it out. You've been doing everything that you can do to, um, I don't know if I said it, I was thinking it. You've been doing everything that you can do to rebuild, and I think that you have really stuck it out, and it has to do with some decision that was made in the past. But now the wheel has spun in your favor. Okay, because you've worked so hard at it. Um, here we have a Leo. Here we have a Leo. Maybe this Leo is helping you with this. And they're part of your security. And they've helped you to get through this, um, basically this time of crisis. I think the time of crisis is over. You know, and, you know, it hasn't been easy going, but you have done everything that you've had to do. Perhaps you had a friend or a partner that was a Leo that brought you strength, that brought you courage, that helped you to rebuild after regrets or rejection. <coughs> now, this is supposed to be a love reading. <laughs> It looks like things are happening very, very, very quickly for you, okay? This is fast energy, both of these, okay? It looks like something is coming in. There could be a little bit impulsive. This is now down towards the end of August. Perhaps you, there's a little bit of impulsive behavior or some fast-moving energy that, you know, it, it doesn't affect you in a bad way at all. Something happens quick, but you're still in a peaceful state. You know, you're still feeling vibrant. You're still feeling um, confident. You you know, you're having a lot of strength. There's no negativity here. It looks like you're feeling really good and you're getting through this. Things are happening very quick. And it has to do with something from the past. And um, I think that all your hard work is starting to pay off, Capricorn. Now, this is supposed to be a love reading and maybe it's a love of children. I don't know because I keep wanting to say children. We have a child here with a parent. And then we have this is this right here is the Six of Cups. It's either somebody from the past or dealing with somebody from the past or dealing with something from the past. Or it's about children. <coughs> so I'm wondering if this has a lot to do with children. You know, things are finally starting to get to a more peaceful state perhaps maybe with it has something to do with a child i'm not sure let's um get some love let's look for some love and i know that children are about love as well but romantic love is there any romantic love maybe you're concentrating on your family right now more than you are um romantic love but I, you do have a partner and i think it's a leo aries or sagittarius um, there is somebody that's helping you get over any past regrets that you've had or any grief, helping you to rebuild your foundation after a time of crisis and after, you know, a time of resistance where you probably felt like everybody was against you. Here's your clarity. Here's your truth. Okay. This is where you receive, you receive the information that, um, aids in you, their wheel spinning okay this is where you receive some truth that spins the wheel okay and it spins the wheel in a very good way because it brings peace and harmony 
okay and it brings peace and harmony to harmony to something that has been hurting you that from the past like I said we have this one twice now this is something you have been working very hard on you've been working on yourself and that's what I see Capricorn you've been working on yourself and you've been working on bettering every aspect of your life here, you know, with this Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, you know, there's love. There's love with this person. Perhaps they have been standing beside you through this, despite any resistance, despite any um, retaliation, you know what I mean? Despite any um, unnecessary um, bullshit, you know what I mean? They have been standing beside you and offering you their support of love and um, kindness and basically emotional support that's what I see this person and I think it's a it's either a Leo Aries Sagittarius or it's a water sign Pisces Cancer or Scorpio so this person is either coming in if you haven't met them yet or it's the other person this Leo Aries Sagittarius or the Pisces Cancer Scorpio that has been supporting you through this time of growth yeah and you have high hopes i think you have really high hopes of the future um i think that you've been envisioned it you know you've worked hard towards it you know um you're doing everything that you can and things are happening very quickly things are coming to fruition and they're coming to fruition very very quickly and i think in the past i mean here we have you twice working very very hard but feeling deceived so you're you are still feeling deceived about something or you're deceiving somebody so it's either you're deceiving or they're deceiving okay so it feels like you're feeling but it's caused by this regret maybe you have you feel betrayed or that you've betrayed somebody you know what i mean but you've moved away from that because it's over now okay the worst is over so whatever is here where there was lies or or arguments or sneakiness that's over with now it's over with now because you can only go up from here it's time to start over this card comes up when you when the, it's a brand new beginning and along with this wheel of fortune it is a brand new beginning you're about to start a brand new phase of your life that is beautiful it's very very positive it's good luck good fortune you deserve it you worked for it Capricorn you worked for it this right here is the fool this is about starting a brand new journey with faith and trust not having any fear and that is exactly what you have been doing and that's why you are faring so well and I think right now because there's not so much love in this reading that you are concentrating on you I feel like you are constant maybe you have a family and you're concentrating on your family and you are just perfecting yourself Capricorn so congratulations let me get some of these cards right here and see what comes out Now, this with this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the love they could, and the deceit and the lies right here, they could have betrayed you, or you could have betrayed them. You know, I don't know if I told you that earlier, but I, I just felt the need to tell you that um, here. But that does not necessarily. They also could have been the ones that helped you get through this tough, difficult time, or it could be somebody that you share children with okay and that's what you know you have regrets over this but you're, you've moved away from it that's over with now okay you've moved away from that person in hopes of new love with somebody else here we have the queen of air this is um aquarius libra gemini okay this is about um Okay, so this is the truth that comes in that brings you to peace. There could be another person coming into your life, an air an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or it could just be an energy. Don't pay no attention to that queen. It's a queen or king. Objective decision-making. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. 
seeing the humor in a situation. This is about letting go of something that no longer serves you. So if it's not a person coming in, because I don't think that's what it is. I think it's an energy. I think it's about clearing away all that no longer serves you. You have been working hard, and probably that is your last step. That's your last step to clear the debris. Okay? Then we have the lover's card. So once you clear the debris and you start your new journey and you get over any lies and deceit that were in the past, we have the lover's card. This is an unexpected choice in love. Okay? Intimate, intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions. Good health. This card is, un, like I said, an unexpected choice in love. Something comes in and it's completely unexpected, okay? You intended to go one way. You had no interest whatsoever. You know, you, you know, you weren't going to do that. But the pull is so strong that you end up doing it. That's what this is, okay? So this could be um, somebody coming in for you, all right? Here we have the hermit. The problem is, is that you're still hiding in your shell. Okay, that, that's when the hermit comes out. And that's your resistance right here. Okay, you're resisting love because you're hiding in your shell. Um, maybe that's what you need to do. You Maybe you're not really hiding. This suggests that you're hiding. You've been through a bullshit period of time where, you know, there's been a lot. It's been like a crisis mode. You know, uh, and you're getting over it. You've worked hard. You're starting a new journey. And maybe you're just not ready. Maybe you're just not ready to um, come out of your shell towards this lover's card. But the universe has plans. And even though you may not be ready, if the universe says it's time, if you made this pact before you were born that this was going to happen and it's time, then it might force you to come out of your shell. Okay, so here we have... The lover's card, it's unexpected. It's coming. And it's inescapable. It's inescapable energy. It will probably force you to come out of your shell. Let's see what we can get for these angel romance cards, Capricorn. Capricorn moon. I just was thinking that as I was shuffling. I was like, hmm, that's interesting. This is interesting because, you know, they said I have a lot of aspects of this reading in my chart. Okay. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So whether you're with somebody or not, you are, uh, if you're with somebody, then, and you're married, say, your, your love life is going to ascend. If you're single, you know, somebody's coming in. Somebody's coming in. I don't, this, this this should not even say engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Simple as that. Okay. Attraction. You will attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. That's by living in the moment. Okay. And, and feeling in the moment. And raising your vibration. And you you attract by feeling good. So do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel good and attractive. The more attractive you feel, the more attractive you are. That's what I'm trying to say. So do whatever you need to do to um, enjoy this moment fully, okay? Ooh, that's an ugly one. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And do you know why that is? Because when this lover card, lover's card is here, you don't want to be carrying around any baggage. You don't want to carry any baggage. So maybe it's this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You know, that, that you've been in a crisis mode with. Or it's somebody else. It could be anybody. But something is inhibiting you from this from this lovers okay but the thing is is the lovers is inescapable it's unexpected so this is just saying it'll be a lot easier if you release your ex now so that you can start over fresh with this new person you might as well just release them now so that new love can can um approach all right
great. Let me see, what else do we need? Um, you know what, I got this new deck. I'm gonna use one of these for you. Whoa, that one came flying. Thought, I'm gonna let it happen. I'm gonna read it to you. This is my new deck, I don't know it by heart yet. I'll have it down within a month. Vintage Wisdom Oracle Thought. Thought is a powerful spiritual vibration and can be used to generate atmospheres of healing or harmfulness depending on the evolution of the thinker. The presence of this card highlights the importance of thoughts as they precede action and are the driving force behind how you experience life. If you have cause to reason, decide, discover, or resolve a situation, now is a favorable time. Taurus got this too. <laughs> The quality of thoughts will always determine the wisdom of your choices. Be aware of the positive power of your thoughts and how they affect your current situation and others around you. When reasoning ends, use the calming, intuitive influence of meditation as a tool to soften any raw edges to restore balance. So Capricorn, that is what I have for you. Um, yeah, I can't change it up. It is what it is. So I will talk to you again soon. You know, I never even checked the camera. Hopefully you could see all that good. Yeah, I think it did pretty good.